But maybe because you never know. I love how Distant just goes fucking crazy from the very beginning. It's low build, then it's just zero to a thousand. Fucking tech death, but actually, it's why not, I guess. I don't know how we can enunciate that logo. That is insane to me, man. He has some crazy vocals, man. Oh, that is a very, very cool sound. That build was amazing. Go with that light just in the background. That was sick, man. They're very much adding a lot of tech death elements into their um, sound, which is so cool. So. It's fucking crazy, man. Fucking love it. Fuck, man. That song going by is so quickly. The song's only two minutes long, don't get me wrong. It's not the longest song I've ever heard, but it doesn't need to be, man. And when they were touring with Lorna, he'd go up and do the breakdown for Death Portrait. Oh, really? That's that's so sick. No, the hell just go up and do, and like, um, do the Death Portrait things. It's cool that, that Lorna Shaw let him do that as well. And like you know that they're open just to other people coming in and just like taking over some of the parts as well. It's very cool by them. Honestly, I mean, this song is brutal as fuck, man. It's just two minutes of insanity. Like, because they've got longer songs, obviously, but like the fact that they can make two minutes like this intense and this brutal is absolutely insane. But you know, let's see. Let's go, let, let's go lyrically. Save all of you, save all your press. Tell me who says that you were the one to make them, to make all of the millions of souls all bow to your will. These things will turn to sand as I grind your bones with the might of my hands, man. It's just brutality. Even lyrically, man. You'll turn to dust at the end of a day. We will see if you can even lay your hands on me. Burn the nations with a noose around my neck and all of your efforts disappear in me. All of your efforts turn to despair, eradicate all hope that's within. A wall of suffering etched into with dying scripture. Counting seconds towards... Doomsday to come, reality is so fucking bleak. Your reality is so out of reach. Mindless effort you hate to see, but you'll never be enough. I'm inside of your mind like a fucking pest you hate. He's, he's basically a conscience, if like, you're not understanding the meaning. All of this is like, it's a mixture of causality, of consciousness, and you know, like that little voice in the back of your head that tells you what to do. Like it's, uh, like, like, the, like he's that, he's the uh, idea of it, not the thing itself, but the idea of it. You know, the idea that he's the one, he's the one telling you those little things in the back of your head, the one that turns all your ideas to despair, the one that fucks you over in the end, the one that gets you to, to do the things you don't want to do, or to do the things you want to do. The one that tells you, say, if you're a drug addict, or drug addict to say, well, you need to go do that, you need to go take that again, because I like doing that, you know, like the thing in your brain that tells you to do the bad, fucked up shit. Like, that's literally what it is, it's like that little, almost like, you know, we see like a, the devil on your shoulder. Like in the way that it's portrayed in a lot of things, but it's just that way specifically. And honestly, it's a very sick concept in terms of like lyric, in terms of lyricism. Because it is like a, it's an ominous sensation more than it is a pure brutal sensation. And very sick to say. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.